So it's the Ladbroke Scottish League 2 fixture here at Links Park today where Montrose take on Clyde. The last time the sides faced off was back in May and it ended in a one all draw. So Montrose to get this match underway and it will shoot from right to left towards the Wellington Street end off the ground. Cami Ballantyne launches it forward and it's kicked to safety there by Martin McNiff for Clyde. Now Montrose going down the right hand side, falls to Graham Webster, gets it across, it's half clear there by Nicol and almost a chance there for Craig Johnston but he couldn't keep the, the shot down. Goal kick for Clyde, Blair Curry launches it forward, missed by Sean Dillon but helped on there by Max Wright, it's on to Smart, Oz, a dollar, the goalkeeper Fleming comes out but a great finish there by the Clyde number 9, Smart, Oz, a dollar on 3 minutes, it was great assist there from Max Wright, he just flicked it into the path of the striker. Just he beats the offside trap, and out comes Alan Fleming. But Smart Ozadola just knocks it beyond the goalkeeper and into the unguarded Montrose net. Montrose nil, Clyde one. Three minutes played. Ian Campbell square field pass to Sean Dillon. Dillon right foot pass up the park, looking for the overlapping left fullback. Steves gets it across and. Webster almost at the back post, he goes down, claims for a penalty in vain, referee says no. Cami Ballantyne with a throw in for Montrose. Just looking for an option, looking for an outlet. Chooses Webster, Graham Webster. Good play, he's away from the, the fullback. Stewart gets it across and it's headed towards goal there by Craig Johnson. It was a claims of a handball and the referee says yes. The ball did seem to come off the number five, Kevin Nichols, left hand. So penalty kick Montrose, Ian Campbell, left footed. Yeah! Goal for Montrose, 1-1, one, one, ten minutes played. Goalkeeper Blair Curry, he got a hand to it but couldn't keep it out. And Montrose are level, it's the centre half, Ian Campbell on the score sheet. And now Montrose, they smell blood, going for a second goal. Good play here from Craig Johnston. Going away from the Clyde defence there and it, it falls kindly there. Good chance there for Callahan. Couldn't keep the shot down. And now here's the number 22, Conor McLaren, going down the left hand side. He's got Barry Cuddy for company. Flicks it in between him and Burbridge. On to Callahan, gets it across and it almost falls there for Webster. It was beyond Craig Johnston and the Clyde defender. Stuart managed to get a nick on that out for a corner kick to Montrose and it comes and it's defendants all over the place and Montrose take advantage 2-1 Chris Templeman on 20 minutes Clyde just couldn't deal with that in the six yard box the ball bubbled about and it fell into the path off the big man and Montrose are 2-1 up the former Ross County and Brecon City striker doesn't miss opportunities like that through a ruck of five Clyde defenders plus the goalkeeper 2-1 Montrose now Montrose have a chance here it's knocked on by McLaren out wide left Templeman the scorer of the second goal for Montrose lays it back to Andrew Steves gets it into the mixer it's headed down ball just bobbling about and Webster hits it towards goal and off the post it's 3-1 to the Gable Endies on 26 minutes so it's been an absolute fantastic comeback after going down to the third minute strike, going behind 1-0, but Montrose now 3-1 up, 26 minutes on the clock. Templeman takes on the chest and knocks it back to Liam Callahan. It goes out wide left to Andrew Steves. Steves goes on a run, knocks it back through, and good play. Here's Johnston, Craig Johnston, who's in the 18-yard box and tries to get it across the face of the goal but Martin McNiff was there to clear for Clyde Callahan again launches it forward just down, down the left hand side onto McLaren McLaren inside for Templeman Templeman swivels knocks it back to McLaren Connor McLaren goes on a run takes a shot it's chance down but it could fall kind of there for Johnson it was blocked by following him and into the luckily from and throws into the path of Johnson but it couldn't get it, the shot away Connor kick comes in from Campbell and Montrose can't make the pressure kick but they have won another corner kick at the expense of Stewart. So corner kick to be taken by Campbell. Left footed. And it comes. Comes 
knocked away there by Curry and Clyde get it away eventually. Free kick for Clyde. Goalkeeper Blair Curry to take 25 yards from his own goal. Headed on there by Goodwillie. Gets a return ball from Ozadollar and Goodwillie just couldn't get the, the shot on target. It's high and wide. Goal kick Montrose. Corner kick for Clyde. Stewart and it comes. It's headed away there by Dylan. Another throw in for the Bully Wee. But referee Mike Roncone says that's enough for the first half as he blows the half time whistle. 3-1 Montrose at the break. Campbell with a penalty kick on 10 minutes. Templeman 20 minutes and Webster 26. Smart Ozador giving Clyde the lead on 3 minutes. What does the second half have in store? Is that ball's just shielded out for a goal kick intelligently there by Steves. Free kick for Clyde and it's a, the number 11, Darren Ramsey, right footed and off target. Ramsey again for Clyde. Threads it through to the former Dundee United in Plymouth. Argyle striker David Goodwillie. Goodwillie takes a shot but it's charged down by former Dundee United teammate Sean Dillon. Clyde keep the pressure on and try to make someone happen. Barry could he wins the, the corner. Well played there by Clyde. Corner kick for Clyde, and it comes and headed towards goal there by the number four, Martin McNiff. But referee Mike Ronconi says there was an infringement, so free kick went throws. Now Clyde with a throw in, going down the right hand side. Good Willie knocks it inside, and another shot on target there by Burbridge. Clyde keeping the pressure on, and was a dollar short charge down by Sean Dillon. And Sean Dillon, the Montrose player coach, just Boots out for a throw in. Montrose just trying to get going again. Templeman knocks it inside for Mac McLaren. Now down the left hand side. Good play by uh, Montrose. And there's good defending equally by Clyde. Corner kick. Fotheringham. And it comes. Templeman's in there. Can't make anything happen there. But Montrose keep the pressure on Webster to Templeman. Templeman can't get past Smart oh, the dollar. Oh, the dollar bits it away, but now here's Clyde McNiff launches it forward. Good play. Finds Barry Cuddy with a shot. The keeper makes a save. Good save from Alan Fleming. But David Goodwillie follows up with a rebound. And it's 3-2. As the former Blackburn Rover striker pulls Clyde back into this on 74 minutes. It was a great initial save there by Alan Fleming, but David Goodwillie. Certainly pounced onto that loose ball and blast the ball into the unguarded Montrose net. So Montrose 3, Clyde 2. Throw in for Clyde. Is there going to be a late finale here? And the shot's just wide in the end there by Kevin Nicholl. Ball's knocked towards goal by Cudi as claims for handball against Dillon. Referee says no. Clyde keeping the pressure up. Free kick Clyde, David Goodwillie wearing 10. Thinks about a shot and goes for it, and it's well over the crossbar in the end by David Goodwillie. Corner kick Clyde, and it comes, it's head away. Clyde trying to keep the heat on this Montrose defence. But that's full time, and Stuart Petrie's men. Have earned another three valuable points. It's finished. Montrose three, Clyde two. Smart Oz a dollar on three minutes. Put the bully be in front. Montrose responded with goals on ten minutes from the penalty spot. Ian Campbell. Then Chris Templeman on twenty minutes. Graham Webster twenty six. But David Goodwillie did have the last say in terms of the goals with a second Clyde goal, but it wasn't enough uh, to take anything from the game for Clyde. And it does finish. Montrose three, Clyde two.